Hello Heartbeaters, today I am doing a channel spotlight and in particular, today we're doing JWC911 or Jeff Claxton 60450. Guys, I really like his heartbeat moments, just check them out here. I've gone ahead and I'll put a link in the description below, but we're just going to scroll through them real quickly here and look at the diversity in all of the different things that he covers. He's got some of the top moments from big movies. Uh, we got uh, the drugstore, the heroin and meth sold here. This is a fantastic series of moments because it goes into the differences between what happened in Portugal where they legalized drugs and it turned out quite well and then parts of America where it has not turned out very well. Very interesting stuff here. And then we go through here. We got Cheech and Chong. We got some cartoons. There's just so many different things in here under... Look at this. Underfoot in London. What's under it? I haven't actually watched that yet, but... That looks very interesting. And then, you know, just going through here a little more. The Gangster. All right. I did not knew, know this movie was coming out, but I watch all the action movies because that's literally how I roll. So maybe we're going to check that one out in a second here. And then, you know, Distinguished Men of Culture. Look at this here. Life is good. Also a tight fit. Yes, this is exactly how you should be naming your moments. In fact, let's click on this one to start it off. All right, so I already like this guy. Let's just be real here. I already like this guy. I already follow him. I'm going to send him a friend request because I respect his ability to identify important moments, moments that should be put on the Heartbeat platform for reasons. Let's continue to watch this one for a few more seconds, you know, for scientific reasons. Right. 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 Yes, okay. Okay, excellent, guys. Yes, no, this is exactly what the Heartbeat platform was made for. And he didn't make like 400 moments in this one. He made one moment. It happens to be a long one. But imagine all the stuff I had to skip to watch that. <laughs> Just messing with you guys. So let's skip going down here. This here looks very interesting. I haven't watched this one. Underfoot in London. Let's take a look at some other things that he really likes to get into. Yes. Yeah, you heard it right. There what? are Roman ruins in London, and they're located underground. All right. And this is not the only amazing attraction hidden under London. Today, we will descend step by step into the underground depths of this amazing city and find out what is under London. That is very cool. This is a, this is a video that I am going to go watch on YouTube. Because I know that years ago they found, I can't remember which king it was, but there was a uh, an English king that was found, an old English king was found buried under like a parking lot or something like that. And he was like one of the few kings that they hadn't been able to locate. I was like Richard or somebody like that. I think it was Richard II or something, but absolutely fascinating stuff that you can, that I, that I saw, I don't know, it's been years since I've seen it, but amazing. Let's go back. Let's look at a few other ones here. This one here. I can't recommend this one here um, enough. Busy streets of drugs. This drugstore video that he identifies. This is something that I watched and I was very, very interested in because when you have two different countries, you know, and they use the same laws and they get different outcomes, that means there's other variables at play. Watch this. We'll just take a look at this quickly here. Every drug. This is Portugal, the country that also decriminalized yeah. every drug. But with insanely different results, what is the difference between Portugal's decriminalization and Portland's? Well, yes, very interesting stuff. What indeed is the difference? That, that, I mean, they did the same thing. So anyways, let's skip forward here. We're going to go to the 22 second mark here. And he talks to a public worker. 2024 is in people's faces. Over the hey. last year, I've documented the deadliest drug in human history, fentanyl, infiltrate nearly every major city in America, from Honolulu, Hawaii, to Anchorage, Alaska, to Kensington, yeah. Philadelphia, with drug overdose becoming the number one cause of death for Americans under the age of 40 in 37 states. In the last Yikes. three years, I've seen well over 200 people that I know personally die from fentanyl overdose. And so almost everybody wow. I know. Wow, that's awful, guys. So there you go. I mean, this, this is... I mean, we went... Uh, Again, when you're making, you know, moments for heartbeat, p 
people like JWC who create moments across all of these diverse and different types of content. It's not just like one raid boss, for example, and then like 400 moments of, you know, here I am putting on my armor, here I am, you know, looking at my sword. He's such amazing amount of, of different types of videos that he's, that he's watching here. I just love it. This is exactly what Heartbeat is for. Let's get forward a little bit forward here to the... Um, the lady in her underwear. Yeah, I could go for that. Hoping it would help drug okay. addicts feel more comfortable seeking treatment rather than hiding their Maybe drug not. addiction in the shadows in fear of being incarcerated. But in 2024, drug use and possession has been recriminalized and will take effect this September. Yeah. Initially taking inspiration from the drug policy in Portugal, who claims to have solved their drug issues with decriminalization as a key part of their strategy, has made me wonder if there's something else Oregon's experiment was missing besides just decriminalizing drugs. Exactly. What indeed is that? So this video, I can tell you right now, will be worth a watch for sure. Let's go ahead and click on him again here. So, oh, yeah, Rambo 6, the new blood. Yeah, good trailer. Um, So, yeah, there you go, guys. This is JWC911. Let's skip through here a little more, and let's take a look at maybe one more. Oh, yeah, the gangster. Okay, I don't know what this is. I didn't even know this was coming out, but I can tell you right now, now that I've seen it, we got to watch a few seconds of it at a minimum. Yeah, what the hell? Mr. Green, Mr. Packer would appreciate it if you came back to the table. Okay, maybe this is an old movie because he's got hair. Jason Statham doesn't have hair. Let's watch a little more. I haven't finished with him yet. Or, you know what, guys? This is, I think, an old movie. But his moment here, as you can see, is it's a link to the entire movie on YouTube. I'm totally wrong. I just found a new Jason Statham movie that I haven't seen uh, <laughs> called The Gangster. And it's entirely available on YouTube because when you look at the timeline here, it says eight minutes of, a mi of an hour 37. So you know what? What I'm doing tonight has already been decided. This is fantastic. I did not expect that. So there you go, guys. This is JWC. Here's his channel. I'm going to put a link in the description below to follow him. Check out his moments. They're fantastic. I just found a whole bunch of things that I had no idea were on YouTube, which is exactly what Heartbeat is made for. Check it out. His, his stuff is awesome, guys. Thanks for watching.